What's up beer lovers? Welcome to another episode of Doutor Breja and probably you all are thinking right now why the hell is Bleed speaking English on this episode? And there's a reason to that. It is because I have my first Canadian guest to the show. My first international collaboration here on Doutor Breja and it is with Chris from the YouTube channel Hobbs and Bros. Chris, what's up man? How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm super stoked to be on Doutor Breja. Did I get it? Yeah, right. <laughs> awesome. Super pumped to uh, be, the, be here as Obsen Bros uh, to sample probably some beers from Brazil and also to do our first ever international collaboration between those two fantastic beer channels. Thanks a lot for having me, uh, for having me on the show, Alex. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. It's great to have you here. For those who don't know, I really love Hobbs and Bros. For me, it's one of the best beer channels on YouTube. And three reasons why. First of all, they have good information, really good content. So you should really go to their channel just after this video, okay? The second reason is because they really love beer and you can see just watching their videos. And the third one is because you can really see the friendship between Chris and Max, really closer to what we have here in Dr. Breja because you know Marco and Langiani, big friends of mine. So it's really nice to have you here, Chris. And we are going to drink Brazilian beer, Everblend from Everbrew. Yes, right here. Yeah, I sent this beer to Chris so we can have like this first experiment together. It's crazy. I'm super impressed that the beer showed up actually in Canada that got through customs and all that stuff. It's really impressive. And no worries, there's a box getting ready for you coming up in Brazil if it gets there. Finger crossed it will get there and we'll do another video with Canadian beer in the future. Um, but one comment on the four cans you sent me, three of them are sporting a school on, a school on the label. Is it something? with Brazil you guys just have uh, some kind of fetish with skulls right no man I don't know why this happened it's, it's just a coincidence I promise all right that's <laughs> fine that's fine <laughs> but I can promise you this brewery is one of the best breweries that we have here in Brazil that's why I sent this beer to you so let's pour the beer yeah let's go into the beer oh Actually, mine is really aromatic. It's, it is very aromatic. I can smell it from here. And look at that. Look at that nice color. It's very super easy. I poured it quite aggressive. So the head is really, really thick on top. I'm a big fan of head retention. Sometimes it's something that uh, you don't think about when you drink beer. Usually you just pour it in. But if the head is not staying and not forming properly, I always call this as like a, a check on not doing good into the style. Usually it just shows very well and also brings in a lot of aromas what do you get on your end the first thing that I get here is like so many fruits what we call tropical fruits here in Brazil like passion fruit a slight grapefruit on it but something yellow and sweet too apricot or peach but really really fresh and sweet yeah I do get a little bit of honey sweetness on the back end so kind of like more floral sweetness but everything you said about apricots and peaches is right there and you really feel Feel it. Really juicy, right? Let's see if it's juicy on the mouth too. Cheers, man. Cheers. That's good. Wow. Definitely juicy. Nice sweetness to it too at the same time. I love it. You can say your impressions. You're the guest here today, so. <laughs> it's, it's seriously well done. Like, you know, New England IPA for us, it's, uh, I get access to Vermont beers and all that stuff. So for me, my New England IPAs, I do refer to Eddie Topper and all those beers. I can drink them very fresh and I have access to, I guess, the the mother god of all this, uh, this style that's being hyped up everywhere. And every single time I'm having like it's fun to see another country or another region of the world interpret interpreting this style and see how well it does and seriously <laughs> it's probably better than most of the New England IPAs we get here too at the same time like it's doing very well compared to what I saw or I see every single day here at the same time in my opinion it's a very good beer very juicy you can really feel the hop flavors on it obviously it's not as well-rounded as Hattie Top the mother 
of all New England IPAs, as you mentioned. <laughs> But still, it is a well-rounded beer, very easy to drink, you can feel the smooth texture on it. And basically, if you like the bitterness and this ripe fruit sweetness combination, you probably is going to like this beer. Here in Brazil, we are making like good New England style IPAs. I just think there is something that they do like on Vermont that we don't know yet, but you know, Brazil is just starting like this beer history so it's something probably we're going to learn sometime but actually I think we're doing like pretty fine and good beers here on this style right now we just need to get better on other styles too it's a super hyped up style a lot of people are doing it when you do it properly then congrats and all that stuff but I also love industries or regions that are pushing forward on um, their own styles or uh, their own specialization I I always love to say um, I just came back from Italy uh, I think in July and over there they do a lot of um, wine barrel aged beers because they have a lot of wine down there and I think it's they should focus on that because their IPAs are not that good it's seriously not there yet but um, the reason why I can see that uh, Brazil has a lot of success with their AZ more New England IPA styles it's because of your uh, knowledge of those fruits like the the flavors we're looking into tropical fruits passion fruits for me I don't find that every single day at the local market I have apples but now it's winter time the only thing available is potatoes right <laughs> so that's why you guys have the knowledge of those fruits and you can put that forward into your beers and it really shows at the same time uh, with the end product you sent me a pretty good package so seriously I have, I have a little bit more to drink after but uh, for my first impression I had a lot of hype for uh, Brazil beers because I've already heard a lot of good things uh, it just shows how well it's made and how good your industry is doing and seriously probably one of the industry we have to look out the most for in the future I think nice words Chris thank you so much for that and Let's tell the people uh, where they can find you. Um, so uh, if you're looking for more beer content, of course, in English from mostly Americas, we do beer reviews from the world too, but we kind of like move on to focus on Craft Beer 101, which is we go over a style and ingredient or off flavors. Lately, it's been doing very well. Uh, you can find us at Ops and Bros on YouTube, but also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, which I'm not at all very good at it, but let, let's just focus on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram this is where we are so just join in comment on the videos uh, we want to get as much conversation as possible with the people and share our love for beer that's nice Chris and you beer lover that is watching this video this thing that we just did here is all about beer you know like sharing like meeting new people and taking your country like your beer your country it's inside this can you know and send it to other people so they can try and like learn a little bit more about your country so it's very good to do it you should do it too so if you like this video put the thumbs up if you didn't subscribe here just click on the subscribe button and what about you have you had the ever blend of ever brew just give me your opinion here on the comments down below okay this is bleed i'm here with chris thanks a lot alex for having me cheers cheers chris this is dr breja até a próxima galera see you